Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, I'm getting out the T-Rex 4 because I want to see if this thing still even runs. It's been a long time since I did an RC video and the only reason why I'm doing an RC video is because I was trying to sell the UDR online and I got everybody and their brother wanting to trade, want it for nothing and this and that and the other thing. You know it's like selling something online, so. I had a gentleman that had another T-Rex 4 and he wanted to trade it for it and I didn't really want to so I got thinking about it and I said oh what the hell I might as well trade it then we have two rock crawlers that are T-Rex 4s but then the guy wanted me to meet him halfway to where he lives and now I'm into delivering it so I just quit I took it offline I don't care if I sell it or not it will sit up there for another month or so until I actually play with it which I might play with one day but if you're buying something from somebody you gotta go get it, especially if you're trying to make a deal. You see the price of gas right now? I ain't driving it halfway to you. Come get it if you want it. What? But thanks for the interest, eh? Anyways, so going back, T-Rex 4, I think it's running. I don't think there's anything wrong with this thing. We're gonna find out right now because it's been so long since I started it or even moved it. Let's get a battery. I know the battery's pretty much charged, so I can, I can stop it for us. Ah, ah, I can stop it for a video. Friggin' right, I can. She's a little on the punky side. Hmm? She's a little swollen. I wish something else was swollen. Anyway, sorry about that. Apologize. So we'll plug it in here. Fire it up, I guess. That's what we can do. So the car comes on. Controller seems all right. Turn this on. So if you come over here, we're going to check the diff locks, first of all, which should be... That one works. So they seem to be working still. What else? Check the two-speed transmission. Looks like it's still working. Check the steering. Oh yeah, it's still working. So we might be good to friggin' rock and roll here. Let's try it. Oh, the cat wants a little action on it. So that seems to be working just dandy. I can't remember. The steering's a little off. Here, let me fix that. So it must be on high gear. It sure is. Listen to those tires on this ground, eh? It's like squealing. Careful. Is it a pause on? Oh look, you can see the difference. Dip lock's on. Oh, and she wants to go wild, she does. Decent. So anybody that's new to the channel knows that this is a TRX4, of course. If anybody else doesn't know, I'm running the Hobby Wing sensored brushless system in it. Now this brushless system I bought is, here, let me see if I can read this for you because I can't remember. It is a 2300 kV motor, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I can't see. Frick. Oh, blind, Jim. Yes, 2300 kV motor, brushless system in this, T-Rex 4 skins if you're wondering. So that's what I'm running, I'm running some cheap uh, just eBay tires on it, which work all right. I tried taking the foam out of them, but it didn't work too good as you've seen in some previous RC videos. This thing here connects my light kit. I don't even know if the light kit still works, let's find out. Yeah, it still does actually. That's how I connect my light kit. It's got one of those quick magnet base releases things that connect to the body. Every time you take it off the body, you don't have to unplug it, eh? If you're wondering, that's what that is. Now I do notice that this is a Defender body, which I've cut into a pickup truck. If anybody hasn't seen that video, it's back there. Go take a look at it, why wouldn't you? Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button too, why wouldn't you? It looks like she's got a little bit of a lean to here. Thinking I might have a bad shot coming out of her. Oh wait, that does have a few more turns. Oh yeah, what the hell is going on here? They're all out of whack. Cap, why the hell are my shocks all different heights? What's really going on? Friggin' Rook, there we go. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to put long travel kit in this thing. Forget it, just drive it. There I am again, thinking about upgrading. Frig. But anyways, there you go. That's my T-Rex 4. It's a pretty good little stout little unit it is. So now I have an antenna holding it up. What the hell is with the antenna? How come that's all decked over now? I never even noticed that before. So we're gonna have to take care of that. Friggin' right we will. That's probably what's holding my body out of whack. I wonder why the body was all decked over. There it is with the headlight kit. Check that out, Jim. Oh, that's friggin' Oh yeah, look at the body, it's all decked. Looks like a bird taking a dump. That's a bright light, man. Holy, how you doing? Still wants to go sideways. There we go. Ah, oh, well, 
Here, let's see if it'll climb the cat perch. Friggin' right it will. Aw, dick. Holy. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> the old T-Rex Force still works. Don't forget to unplug your battery. My body's definitely seen better days, and I definitely gotta drill a hole for that thing. So we'll just take it out for a little cruise here, and you can let me know what you think of it, and we'll go from there, we will. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at the power. Oh, dick. Oh, yeah, you did. Friggin' made it right through there. Did you see that? That was amazing. Friggin' right, it was amazing. Here she comes. Out of the out of the depths and the darks of the new area. Following the water line down along the stream. Turning around the stream. Going back up into the bush where it can't find its way. Because I don't know how to trim trees anymore, obviously. But here we go into the deep trees and wilderness. Might get stuck. Might not. Seems to have a pretty good four by four on board here, Captain. Let's go right over top of this. Jesus, how weird. Let's see if the tree still works. Hey, remember the tree boys, girls, peoples? I doubt it, my gas tank's a little cocked over at the back. Look at it. Put the old lean to you. The front fenders are dick. This old bitch is just getting right over it is. But here we go. All I have left on my crawling track is the old tree of Ruski. See if we can't get up or somewhat. Jim, gentle. I hope my camera's all decked. Hold on, need a little bit more of a dangle of the angle. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to get up here anymore. Captain, this was a tough corner to turn right here, boys. Just have an eye. Plus this thing's top heavy. You know that, anybody that's driving a T-Rex 4 with a defender body. She weighs a couple grams, she does. Come on, turn, servo. Odd oh, dick. Odd oh, dick. There she goes. Oh, we're stuck. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Something's not happening. My servo's uh, a little loose on some strength of Ruski here. What's really going on? Great. Oh, we got a branch in the way of the obstacle course. He's... That's not going to work. Oh, dick. Am I ever stuck in here? Come on, servo, do your job. There it goes. There you go. Captain. It's really hard when you can't get the steering to turn when you're in, uh-oh, we've got a broken crawler track here. Careful. I need to get these damn wheels to turn, there we go. Back up a little bit more, it turns more. Oh, we're getting her. We're getting her, Captain. Oh, here we go again. Now you go back. Turn the wheels up, 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 up. That's it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. He's trying to just hit the body a little bit, if you're wondering. That's what all the cracking is. Not my servo. Just so you know, it's not the servo. Oh, look at the lean on that. We're going to crash. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, we're doing good. Haven't had this thing out in a while. And she's uh, doing her job quite well. That was a servo crack. Well, maybe not. Might have been a body crack. Yep, it's catching on the damn body. Come on, baby. Come on, servo. I don't know if you notice or not, but I have quite a few weights in the rim too on this thing to help hold her down to the ground. There she goes, we got her. Captain. I don't know if we'll be able to get up here. I think the tree's all dicked over. This tree's bigger than what it used to be. 
Yeah, I can't even see where the hell I am. Got him? I think we'll go around here. Hold on a second. Walk a rooski around the old fence of rooski. Where are you? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yep, that branch has got to go. There we go. Shut up, dog. Shut up, okay? Come on, baby. I forget how to climb a tree. I think I have to have the one tire on this piece of wood. Oh, she's gonna fall. Uh oh, I might be stuck. Careful. If anybody's wondering, that's why I took the back bumper off. See this position here? You wouldn't. Oh, hey, what's going on with a friggin'. What are my wheels ain't working? Oh, yeah, it is. It was just caught in the fing body. Oh, you saved it. Oh, buddy's over there cutting the old grass rooski. About time. Up in the tree. What is that? Is that a bird? No, that's a T-Rex foreskins. This is actually relaxing. I miss doing this, to be honest with you. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get right back into her again, but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get down out of this tree now. Frig, where are you going, bud? Oh! Nick! Oh! Nick! She survived, she did? Well, there you go, fired. Once you fall, you fall. Oh, look at it. What happened? Well, there you go. As you can see, the TRX4 still works just fine in these conditions upon us. So I'm glad I brought it out. I had fun bringing it out, actually. It's been a while since I brought it out, but now it's dirty, of course. Hey, dirty's better than clean. Oh, we gotta do one last crawl, and then we'll call her a day. Even without the crawler track of dirty old bills of yard, you still got stuff to crawl on. Oh, look at that. Piece of cake. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that little quick little out and about with a rip on the old air seeds, which I haven't done in forever. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff. And let me know if you have a RC crawler or if you're in just into the nitros or the off-roads or whatever or you like them all i have them all and i do like the rock crawler the best because i'm not running around chasing after the stupid thing every five minutes and not breaking parts every five minutes so they are nice for that so if you're looking for an rc where you can just have some fun without putting new parts in every time you take it out look into a rock crawler you might be happy with that but i'm glad you're all here welcome any new subscribers to the channel and until next time love you all and you know what to do for now